Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. In the story of One Piece, the formation of couples, at least romantic couples, are practically non-existent. Now there are rare examples such as Rayleigh and Shaki, who have been announced as couples since their first appearances. So it's unlikely that we'll see many couples currently form in One Piece, because the main focus of our story is of course the Straw Hat's adventures in search of the One Piece treasure. And likely the only chance for real couples to form is going to be at the very end of our story story in something like an epilogue. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the reasons why the Straw Hats and really no other characters that we've seen have any romantic relationships really other than just a plain friendship. Why Oda is avoiding creating a relationship between any of the Straw Hats and how this could end up affecting the end of our story. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm and it keeps motivating us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. Well, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, my friends, as we know, Oda has said in interviews and SPSs that he would never have a romance in One Piece because the Straw Hats are, of course, ultimately in love with the sea. And this is referring to their true passion of sailing and not looking for just someone to fall in love with. Another reason why Oda has already said that he has no romance in our story is that there's really no space in the work to develop passions and jealousy and even love triangles and dramatic arcs about the love that the Straw Hat crew might have for each other or even other people outside the crew. However, we do have some couples that we could easily see coming together at the end of our story. For instance, the case of Usopp and Kaya or Sanji and Pudding or even Luffy and Nami or Luffy and Boa Hancock. There are many couples that fans have come up with and shipped, so it only remains for us to see which couples might actually come together at the end of our story. Now, on the other hand, a lot really has changed in the One Piece story since it's very early years. So it's not impossible that Oda might have changed his mind or might even be interested in incorporating more romance in the near future. Now obviously it can't be anything that takes away from the narrative structure of the manga, merely just something that happens with a certain amount of grace or prominence but without all the drama surrounding it because let's be real, there's more than enough drama already existing in our story, especially as we head into this final saga of One Piece. And yet there are still hints that Oda could take this course based on events that have happened in recent history. First of all, in Dres Rosa, there really was a genuine flirtation between Sanji and Violet, even if it didn't end up leading anywhere. As I mentioned just a moment ago, another couple that fans have always commented on is of course Luffy and Boa Hancock. Now there is a big age difference, and it doesn't even seem like Luffy has much desire for Hancock the same way she loves Luffy, but a lot really still want to see this couple come together. So as we continue to follow the story of One Piece, Boa Hancock did fall in love with Luffy after initially trying to kill him, and later the young pirate demonstrated that he really did have a good heart by saving Hancock and her sisters on several occasions. However, since then, the relationship has become a bit more complicated, where Hancock has clearly demonstrated her love for Luffy and has even helped several times to demonstrate her love to Luffy. However, Luffy just doesn't share that same feeling and Luffy just sees her more as a really, really good friend. Luffy's even gone so far as to tell Hancock several times that he only considers her a friend. And Hancock doesn't give up on her goal of trying to win him over. She she will take whatever means necessary to make him fall in love with her back. But it's not only Hancock that Luffy tends to act this coldly to. He really seems to have no attraction for any other character and has always remained neutral when it comes to relating to anyone of the opposite gender or just anyone for that matter other than just those deep friendships and relationships that he's already made throughout his journey. It's easy to see that many of the Straw Hats have put aside the search for relationships because they are in pursuit of their dreams. So theoretically a relationship might get stuck somewhere or even kind of hinder their journey because ultimately everyone on the crew is a free spirit. So a relationship isn't something that they're really just considering at the moment. Not even the great lovesick Sanji, who's pretty much in love with any girl he ever meets on his travels, is really actually after a relationship. As much as Sanji might express his desire to marry Pudding, he only wanted to do it for the sake of his family. The Straw Hat's dreams at the moment are their true and real goals. Now when it comes to Luffy's dream, we still really don't know what it is. Now we do know and we've seen that he's revealed it to certain people he trusts, such as his crew, his brothers Ace and Sabo, Shanks, and indirectly to Yamato and Momonosuke. And it's said to be the same original goal and dream that Goldie Roger had. So in order to achieve this yet unknown dream, Luffy
Luffy has decided to become the Pirate King and gather up his own pirate crew to support him. To become the Pirate King, he must find the famous treasure known as the One Piece, which is on a completely hidden island that has been called Laugh Tale. As for our right-hand swordsman, Zoro had a dream that he shared with Kuina, which was to become the greatest swordsman in the world. But to realize that dream, he must surpass all other swordsmen in the world, including the current greatest swordsman in the world, Dracul Mihawk. Even though it seemed that Zoro was prepared to give up his dream in an attempt to convince Bartholomew Kuma not to take his captain's life, this is in spite of the fact that the first time Zoro met Luffy, he threatened to take Luffy's life if he interfered with his dream, proving how much his loyalty to his captain has grown in their time together. And Zoro's loyalty isn't just to our favorite rubber captain. It truly is his love and his protection for the rest of the crew, because Zoro believes deep down in his core that he could never be the strongest swordsman in the world if he cannot protect the dreams of his captain or his companions, who are always by his side and supporting him. Moving on to our navigator, Nami has always had the dream of drawing a map of the entire world, because none exist in this world of One Piece. Now, Nami's already managed to map out all the areas that they've been through, so it can be assumed that she's going to create a world map once her adventure as a pirate is over. Nami also has ambitions beyond that, because she wishes to be rich, and this is due to her suffering during her childhood. But this isn't her true, real-life goal, although it is a really striking feature of this character, and how she truly is all about the berries. Continuing with our ship Sniper, Usopp's dream is to become a brave warrior of the sea, just like his father Yasa. Although, he did hint that he had fulfilled this dream just before leaving the crew that first time, right before the events of Eni's lobby. But in those heartfelt scenes, Usopp eventually realizes that in his confrontation with Luffy, that he still hasn't caught up with him. And Usopp has a second dream. After the Little Garden Arc, he hopes to visit Elbaf and see the giant warriors that he idolizes so much. So during the post-war arc, Usopp develops yet another dream to truly become the Sniper King. And this was after receiving Luffy's message to get stronger over the two-year time skip. Moving over to our favorite cook, Sanji. Just like Zoro, he has a shared dream with someone very important from his past. And in Sanji's case, it is the former pirate Zep, because they both have the dream of being able to find the All Blue, a legendary ocean that contains all of the world's fish. Now, this location is supposed to be somewhere on the Grand Line, and it's a place where all the waters of all the four oceans come together, bringing fish and different foods from all over the globe, and as well as other seaweeds and ingredients that would be a cook and chef's paradise for cooking. Along with his passion for cooking and his dreams of the All Blue, Sanji has also shown that he has some rather unusual dreams. For instance, one was to visit the Fishman Island to see a mermaid, and he had also wished that he could eat the Suki Suki no Mi, which is the invisibility fruit. But unfortunately for him, Absalom had shattered that dream as he had already eaten it. However, once Sanji saw Absalom's detestable actions, he changed his mind about his desire to take and consume this fruit. And this is ironically because once he acquired the raid suit and the power of invisibility, it almost seemed like Sanji's childhood dream of becoming invisible was restored and realized through that German technology that he despised. And also, in a very similar way to Zoro, Sanji nearly gave up his dream of locating the All Blue when he prioritized protecting Zeph from his real father's threats to take his life, because Zeph is the man who raised him and ultimately who he considers his true father. Next, let's talk about our ship's doctor, Chopper. Now, he has the dream of becoming not only a great doctor, but one that can cure any disease, as well as harboring the ambition of his father, Dr. Hirulu, because he wishes to travel the world and explore with his friends and expand his horizons. Now, although Chopper's dream may seem very small, in order to achieve this goal, it's just as difficult as the dreams of his companions. And for this to be fulfilled, Chopper has to continue to search for the cure for every single disease incessantly, never leaving any stone unturned. When it comes to Nico Robin's dream, hers is to find the Rio Poneglyph, the one that tells the true story of the One Piece world and everything that happened during the Void Century. And this is building on and continuing the research of her own mother, Nico Olivia, and her former mentor, Professor Clover. At one time, Robin had the opportunity to learn all about the Void Century after talking with Silver's Rayleigh, but instead decided to continue her journey to find out for herself. And recently, she learned about the Road Poneglyphs, which are the four stones necessary to point one to Laugh Tail, and the River Poneglyph, which is said to be in a hidden secret location. As for our shipwright Frankie, his dream is to create and travel on a dream ship that could go through countless battles, overcome extreme difficulties, and 
reached the end of the Grand Line, and he created the Straw Hat's current ship, and it is his job to keep it in the best condition. Previously, one of his other dreams was to beat Spandam to pieces, but fortunately, this was fulfilled at the end of Eni's Lobby. In a story that takes us all the way back to when the Straw Hats first entered the Grand Line, we come to Brooke, and his dream is to return to his fellow friend Laboon, who of course was a former crew member of the Rumbar Pirates. And it was a tragic story where we saw how they had to leave him behind on Reverse Mountain to keep him safe, but he left him with a promise to return after crossing the Grand Line. Brooke desperately wants to fulfill that promise to Laboon, as well as that of his former crewmates, who lost their lives during their journey, and he wishes to deliver that last song that was recorded by the crew as each one lost their lives in turn. And finally, Jinbei has the dream that he inherited from his former captain, Fisher Tiger, and that is that there can be a peaceful coexistence between humans and underwater inhabitants. Now, he initially resigned from the Neptune Royal Guards to join Tiger in a quest for equality, and then allied himself with the world government by becoming a warlord. Later, Jinbei allied himself with the Yonkos Edward Newgate and Charlotte Linlin to protect the citizens of Fishman Island. However, the Sun Pirates said that these actions were mostly for the benefit of others and not Jinbei himself, so they encouraged him to follow his newfound desire to help Luffy become the next Pirate King. So there you have it, my friends. These are the dreams of the current Straw Hat crew. Dreams that might seem to be difficult to achieve, but together, they are going to make all of their dreams come true. And this leaves little room for romance. And it's only once they achieve all of their goals that maybe their minds might open up to a bigger world and even the idea of wanting to settle down, start a family, and find love. So with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. What couples would you like to see come together at the end of our story? There have been other videos on our channel where we've talked about different kisses and other possible couples, but who is a couple that you would love to see together? Is it kind of one that's a standard that we talk about here in the community, or is it a surprising one? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching the video, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.